representing the 17 to 22 foot class in the flats category. The Spider FX17 Flicker has an overall length of 17 feet 1 inch, a beam of 6 feet 3 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 90. Built for stocking fish on the flats, she has a draft of 7 inches, a dead rise of 10 degrees, a dry weight of 890 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 19 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. Now we're going to take a look at the Spider FX-17. And if you're looking to catch a fish in really, really skinny water, man, this boat will take you there. You ever eat uh, sushi at a cafeteria? Uh, no. No. Where do you eat sushi? At a, at a sushi, sushi house, right? right? Okay, here's where I'm going with that. This boat has one purpose. I love boats that are this way. If you're a shallow water guy, you like to do reds on the flats, tarpon, bonefish, whatever, this is one you should consider. This may only be a 17-foot boat, but you know it's really loaded with a lot of features. Starting up here at the bow, look how big it is. I mean, for a boat this size to have a bow this large, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, if you look at the bow, it actually flares out bigger than it is. Does that make sense? Oh, it You've definitely got a limited does. amount of, of boat in the water, which helps with your speed, helps with your maneuverability, but a big platform. I love this toe kick all the way around, keep you from taking that last step, you know, just one more step, and you're already rigged for a trolling motor. So this boat comes to you pretty ready to go. They've put the fuel tank forward under the casting deck, which is really good because these boats are weight sensitive. If you're gonna be on the back on the pulling platform, that's really the most aft place that you're gonna put that much weight. And if I'm back there pulling and you're up here fishing, it's good to offset that weight of the motor and the jack plate and the guy on the pulling platform by the fuel tank. Well, it helps it do what it does, okay? It makes it get skinnier. The, the worst thing you see is a flats boat sitting on a flat at a 30 degree angle because you know they're dragging bottom in the stern. Right. You want your flats boat not only on a flat, but you want it sitting flat in the water and this boat has a good attitude to do that just because of what you said. You put your fuel up here to keep your bow down. Now, it's not all about fly fishing. I know the Flats guys, they're really into fly fishing and sight casting and stuff like that. This boat comes standard with three live wells. And in a 17 foot, this boat is really on that cusp of being a technical pulling skiff and a flats boat because there's really a distinct difference between those two kind of hauls. I think they did a good job of putting those two categories of boat together. That way it can apply to both types of fishermen. Well, and it shows itself in other areas too. We got good wide gunnels, you'll notice. You can walk the gunnel in this boat. You know what happened to me when I walked too close to the side of a technical right. pulling skiff? <laughs> you got wet. Another yeah. iPhone bites the dust. Right. But that's exactly right. That won't happen on this boat because of the design of the hull. She's plenty wide. And with the wide gunnels, you can still walk them without putting yourself in a precarious position. Let's look at the size of the center console because it really gives you a lot of cockpit space. I'll show what I'm talking about. The height of this console is perfect. You can drive the boat standing up. You can drive the boat sitting down. But what they've done, you've got a built-in live well here in the front seat of the console. It also double is a cooler. And you've got access to your electronics. They've taken a small design and they've really maximized it for use. Plus, look how much cockpit space we still end up with. If you wanted to bring a cooler, if you have extra gear, you've got the room to bring it. Oh, you're very comfortable with the third person. I mean, there's plenty of room for you and I to have a guest on this boat. Oh, yeah. The size of the windshield actually is even good because I was able to drive the boat today and keep my hat on. It gets the wind to go just over your head. You can squat and look over it, let's say you're running in the rain, but you can see over the top of it really easy. So they designed it really around the angler that's gonna be sitting down you know, during the day, standing up during the day, walking around the boat. You've got rod holders on both sides. It's not just an afterthought. This console was actually engineered to fit this boat. Well, it's engineered for guys like me that have no, if you get that silly stuff off the top of your head, your hats would fit better and you wouldn't have to worry about them blowing off. Right. But you're right, we had no trouble with this one. And they did a good job with this seat. It's plain, it's basic, but it's, it's a perfect need. place for two people to sit. The cushions are good. The back comes out if you want it out. I need the, you know, it's it, just like you say, it's simple but functional. Well, the rear casting deck, that's where the other two live wells are. You got obviously the one under the front seat of the console, the other two are here. On this side, you have storage and you have access to your rigging. The height of the polling platform, at first when I saw it, it looked kind of tall for the boat, but it's for good reason. This boat has a jack plate. You run it in the full up position and you trim your motor up. A lot of boats you have to be careful because you'll take your cowling and you'll crush it into the bottom of the polling platform. What they've done is give you enough height where you can run your jack plate up, trim your motor up, and nothing hits. Not only that, the higher you are, the better you can see. They put a good lip around the back to keep you from accidentally mm -hmm. stepping off. Okay, they've done a lot of things right and enough steps to lead up. It's hard for us old guys to get up there. It's better with the three-step platforms than it is the two. 
Well, just like a bay boat is a shotgun, it covers a lot of things, this is a sniper's rifle. It covers shallow water fishing perfectly.